Hi, I'm Steve, a developer on the Python Tools team at Microsoft, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can manage multiple Python interpreters and environments in Python Tools for Visual Studio. When you first install Python Tools for Visual Studio, the first window to look at is the interpreters list. You can open this with Ctrl and K, followed by backtick, or through View, Other Windows, Python Interpreters. If you've used or installed Python before, this list may already have some items in it. If not, you'll see a link to our instructions on getting a Python interpreter. Let's go ahead and install some interpreters now. First, I'm installing Python 3.3.2, which is the latest available version of CPython. Next, I will install Python 2.7. Python 2.7 is a very stable version that's compatible with most third-party packages right now. And finally, I will install Iron Python, which is based on the Microsoft.NET framework and allows you to directly interact with objects in the .NET world. Now we can see four environments in my list. Each of these includes an interpreter, a copy of the Python standard library, and a folder where I can install other packages. In the list, there are links to bring up the options for each one, or to display an interactive prompt. The database for each environment contains all the information that we need to display code completion and parameter help in the editor. Right now they all need refreshing, which will be started automatically when it's needed, or manually by clicking Refresh DB. While this is running, I can continue to work, though the suggestions in the editor may be limited or incorrect. The bolded entry is the current default, and this can be changed with any of the Make Default buttons. The default environment will be used for all new projects and any project that don't have another interpreter specified. So, let's create a new project. In Solution Explorer, you'll see an item labelled Python Environments. Like the global list, this shows the available environments, but here it is specific to the project. Let's say our project supports CPython, but not IonPython. If we right-click on Project Environments and add Remove Python Interpreters, we can select the environments that our project supports. These will then be displayed in the list. We can see that one of the two entries is bolded, this is the active environment for this project, and the global default is now ignored. If I press Start, the debugger will show that we are inside Python 2.7. To change the active interpreter, I can right-click the one I want and select Activate Interpreter. Now when I press Start, we can see that we are using the other one. When I save my project, the environments in this list are saved in the project file. I mentioned earlier that you can install packages into an environment, so let's look at that. There are many free Python packages available from the Python Package Index, or PyP. You can browse or search their website to find one that you're interested in, and then use Python Tools for Visual Studio to download and install it. Right click on an environment in your project and choose Install Python Package. In this dialog you can enter the name of a package and select whether to use the pip or easy install package manager to get it. You can normally leave this on pip, but if a package fails to install then it might work with easy install instead. When you click OK, we will download and install pip for you and before installing your package. Your installed packages can be viewed by expanding the environment in Solution Explorer. You can also uninstall packages 
by right clicking them and selecting remove. One issue with installing packages into global environments is that it will affect all projects that use the environment. This becomes a real problem when you need two different versions of a package installed for two different projects. To avoid this issue, you can use a virtual environment. A virtual environment is a folder in your project directory that contains a set of packages that is isolated from other projects. To create one, right-click Python Environments and select Add Virtual Environment. In this dialog, you can enter a name or path for the environment and select an interpreter to base it on. The virtual environment will have the same language version and standard library as the base interpreter, but it will have its own set of packages. Click Create, we will install the virtual env package and then create the environment. Once ready, the environment will appear in your project and can be activated and used like any other environment. I can install the package and see that it appears under the virtual environment but not the base interpreter. There's no limit on the number of virtual environments you can create and you can remove or delete them from inside Visual Studio. Unlike global environments, they will not appear in the interpreters window and can only be referenced from another project by specifying the path. However, trying to use a virtual environment for multiple projects reintroduces the issue that it was supposed to solve, so you should generally make a new one for each project. In this video, I've shown you how to view and install your global Python environments, how to associate these with a project, and how to create and use virtual environments. Please check out our other videos and let us know what you like and don't like at pytools.codeplex.com.